Hi guys, welcome to this course in which we are going to create a social network with the use of Django and Semantic UI Framework. Let's have a deeper look on what we are going to create together. So what are the requirements to take this course? First of all, the basic knowledge of Python is a must. Second of all, it's preferable to have a basic understanding of Django. If you meet those criteria and you are ready to do some intermediate coding in Django, jump into this course and we will see each other inside. Hi guys, so let's begin this course by setting up the virtual environment and creating the Django project. So I have a blank window of terminal open and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so you can see what's going to happen over here. And yeah, the first thing that I'm going to do is actually deactivate my Conda environment. Okay, and now I'm going to head over to the desktop because at the desktop we are going to uh, set up the virtual environment. And in order to do that, Let's just write virtual and V and the name will be, I'll call it social. Okay. So let's wait for the confirmation. It's done. So we can head over to social and over here we can activate our virtual environment. So if we see what's inside, we have bin include lib. And now we can set up the Django project. But first, of course, we need to install Django. So pip install Django. And we will be using Django 3.0.5, okay? So let's wait for the installation process to be finished. It's successfully installed. So now we can write down Django admin start project and we want to name the project BFF book. So um, let's see now what's inside this directory. We have BFF book over here. And if we head over to BFF book and list out the elements, we have another BFF book. So I'm going to go back one directory up to this, uh, to this point. So right currently I'm at um, social BFF book. I want to go to social. So I'm going to move up one directory and I'm going to rename this BFF book to source. So in order to do that, BF, MV BFF book and we want to rename BFF book to SRC. And now let's head over to SRC. Over here we have BFF book and manage PY file, which will help us manage all the administrative tasks. I assume you already know this because this is an intermediate course. If you're an absolute beginner, um, yeah, I encourage you strongly to look at the ebook over here. We have um, yeah, many, many things explained, including the steps that you need to take in order to set up a Django project. All right, so the next thing is to um, run the Python manage py migrate and now we can create the super user so Python manage py create super user let's set up password and we can test this out so Python manage py run server Okay, so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to bring it into the browser. 
and there it is so we have a confirmation that Django has been successfully installed and in the next video we will work on part two so we will head over to our um, Visual Studio code and do some uh, coding in the settings py file and urls py file uh, but before we do that, maybe we can uh, exit the uh, server from running. So control C and yeah, we can type in code. So if you are on uh, Windows, I think this command comes by default. You don't need to install anything. If you are on Mac, well, you need to uh, press over here, command shift P and run this command so shell command install code command in path and once you uh, run this command you can close visual studio code and open it the way i did just a second ago okay so um yeah one one thing uh, that i'm going to do is that i'm going to move again up one directory because currently i'm at source and i want to be at social and from social i will open uh, visual studio code so cd again with two dots and from here i'm going to open visual studio code okay this is perfect so we will continue in the next video thank you for this one H hope you have a great day and we'll see each other soon bye bye all right guys welcome back to the course so in this video we are going to finish our setup in order to begin, let's head over to the source folder where we have our BFF book, which is our main project folder, and we have our database as well as manage py file. So if we open up our BFF book, over here we have, among others, settings py file and urls py file, and those two files we will be using in this video in order to finish up the setup so first of all i'm going to open up settings py file and we need to head over to the templates we need to tell django where to look for them so in order to do that i'm just going to borrow this piece of code for from the databases and i'm going to paste it over here in the dears and then just change this to templates okay so um, we are going to create a templates folder in the src directory where django will also look for templates okay and if you don't know this os path join base dir well base dir is basically the src directory and it's defined at the top over here and uh, if you don't know OS Path join, we have an ebook attached to this course. And if you uh, go to this slide, this page, we have some examples. And uh, here we have inputs and outputs. So you can analyze how this OS Path works. We have base name, dear name, and join, which probably we will be using most of the times. Okay, so let's go back. We have um, templates uh, ready, so we can actually start working on our static and media files because in our project we will be using both static files, so CSS, JavaScript, and images, as well as the media files, so the, me the, the files that the user uploads to the server. And again, if you uh, don't know uh, how to set up uh, this part we have also some explanations prepared in the ebook after project setup step three we have project setup remarks and here we have explained what is media root static root what are static files and media files what is static files dears and so on all right so uh, let's go back and let's begin by defining defining static files um it's actually without this static files tiers okay so let's open up a list and inside we will write os path join again and we will um again use the base dir and inside the base dir so inside of the src folder we are going to create uh, a static uh, folder for static files so i'm going to call it static 
project. Okay, so right now inside the SRC, I'm going to create a static project folder. All right, so this is one thing taken care of. Now we need to define the static root and media root. So static root, and we will be using again OS path join, but this time we need to pass in OS path dear name, okay? And then inside we are passing base dear, and we want to um, keep this in static CDN, and inside the static CDN we want to have a static root, okay? So uh, again, to the static root will be copied the to this directory will, will be copied after running collect static commands with the purpose to serve all the static files from a single location. So the files will be copy, copied to this particular uh, directory after running collect static. So if we head over mm, to the desktop, we have our social application. Over here, we will create um, a static CDN folder, and inside the static CDN folder, we will have a static root folder as well as a media root folder, which we will define just now. So we need to change only static to media, and over here as well. So inside the static CDN, we will have a static root and a media root. But let's also define the media URL. And this will be simply uh, media. Okay, so I think uh, we are done over here. We can uh, simply save this file and we will come back after running collect static to see if everything is working. But for now, we can save this and actually move to the URLs py file. And over here, let's begin from the settings. So from Django conf import and we want to import settings and the second thing that we want to do is to import static so from django conf and we want to access url static import static okay so now we can extend our url patterns and let's just write static settings media media URL. So we are beginning with the media and we will do the same for the static in just a second. Document root and settings media root. Okay. And then let's just copy this and do the same for our static files. So we need to change the static URL and the static root. And this is something that we defined in the settings py. Okay, so this is settings. And then if we go to the settings, we have defined uh, media, media root, media URL, and the same for the static URL. Okay, so we are I'm probably done here. We can save URLs py. Please be sure also to save settings py file and let's run python manage py collect static. Uh, okay, so we are in the wrong directory. We are in social, but the manage py file is inside the SRC. So we need to go to SRC and let's try this out again. Python manage py collect static. Okay, we have a confirmation that 130 static files has been copied to social static CDN static root. So let's go inside. We have a static CDN over here. As you can see, inside the static CDN, we have a static root. And inside the static root, we have static files related to the admin. Okay, so this is working. And one thing that we didn't check is actually to head over to our admin to see if everything is working over there as well. So let's write admin. 
and of course we need to run the server so python manage py run server okay and again here we are so let's log in and yeah as you can see everything is working there's not much going on here just yet but we will work on this in the next videos so actually the next video will be a short overview on the things that we are going to create uh, about the applications and the models inside those applications and after we have a short overview on how we will proceed with this project we will start working on our models which we will also add to the Django admin. All right, so thank you for this video and we will see each other in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.